Hey everybody, welcome back to episode of Let's Play Sonic Adventure 2 HD! Yes! Which everyone is wanting me to do, because I'm, I'm looking at the views on just part 8 and 9 of Dark Story, and a lot of you really want me to just keep doing this. So, I'm going to keep doing it for Family Quest. Alright, Sonic Adventure 2 HD. Okay. Well, I'm not, it's not like I wanted to cancel anything, I just, you know, I was like doing other things other than just one main franchise at, at a time. But whatever, I was doing Sonic Heroes at the same time. <laughs> Anyways, Story let's do this. Select. Let's go back to Team Dark. Anyways. I'm, oh wait, he reads, right? Right. Well, I don't really think it's really necessary to tell everybody what the hell I was just doing, because the last episode was really, well, explaining Shadow the Hedgehog and most likely everything else. But anyways. In this episode, we're going to do lots of awesome things! And probably get a lot of good combo breakers. And I know that's Killer Instinct or whatever. But hey, Killer Instinct just came out for the Xbox One. Well, the remake. I, the one thing that actually pissed me off when I was at GameStop yesterday, which, well, I'm gonna tell you what now. Oh, come on. Is because, well, this is what happened. So some customer said, Oh yeah, I was having fun playing Killer Instinct 2. Now you're probably wondering if you don't know. You're probably saying, what's the problem with that? Killer Instinct 2. The keyword, number, letter, depending on whatever. Oh my, whatever. <laughs> I'm just pissed off on Killer Instinct 2. He just made me so mad of how much he didn't know that's not the second Killer Instinct game. That's like the third. Killer Instinct was also released for the Nintendo 64, which I know a lot of people don't know about or really played of, but it was released for the Nintendo 64. It was also released as an, as, I don't know if it's an anime, but a manga for sure. But seriously guys, I hate when people say that. Oh yeah, I'm really enjoying the second game of Killer Instinct, or some franchise like that. I wanted to say so badly, just, 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 just to fix his information that it's the third, or possibly fourth, I don't know if there's another one. Killer Instinct game. I wanted to say that so bad, and you're probably saying, but Shadow, why didn't you just tell him it was the second, or sorry, third game of the freaking franchise? Well, A, I wanted to leave as fast as possible because, well, I was kind of in a hurry to go to work. Why? Because I decided to go buy some games at the last moment before going to work, and it was like 30 seconds before going to work. And that's right, not 30 seconds, 30 minutes. So I kind of had a power walk to my job and got me kind of tired a little bit faster than I usually thought. That's, and I did not want to explain to some person that doesn't know, like, I'm not saying he doesn't, he or she doesn't know anything about, well, why am I saying she? He doesn't know anything about video games, but if you're gonna tell me to, if you're gonna recommend a game to me that, that it's really good, at least tell me information that I don't already know of in a game I don't even play well, I had the first one, or again, I really want to know information about it, but actually getting to know what the fuck this original three were, so give me the correct information. I don't care if you're going to tell me, like, Django or, or Orchid are still in the game. That's fine, because I know they're still in the game. You know how I know? And yes, they actually told me it was also in the game. I watch videos, YouTube videos. I know things about video games, what's happening in the world of now of video games. What games are the most anticipated game franchises they're still waiting for? Beyond Good and Evil, Half-Life 3... Well, Valve with everything with the fucking number 3, but still, every other game... Oh, where's Sonic Adventure 3? You know, things like that. Everybody are wondering, oh, where's... Where's Super Mario Galaxy 3? Are they gonna make a Galaxy 2? Or a Galaxy 2. Are they gonna make a Galaxy 3? Is, is Majora's Mask gonna be an HD remake on the 3DS or Wii U? We don't know. I... It's just... Those kind of things, I'm just so mad at that people think I don't know. And yeah, it's, it's okay that you assume I just don't know. But assuming is not really knowing. But hey, I I assumed on some information before on the Cow Speedy episode, and I got dealt with exactly. But it, the only reason I for sure assumed him knowing what uh, at the time that Lance was going to be an Elite Four champion, you know, fight battle, is because he met him and, well, he mentioned. He's gonna see him again at the leap four, which I guess he didn't catch it. And I rewatched the video just, just just to make sure that I didn't spoil it, which I really didn't spoil it in case he was still reading, but apparently he wasn't paying attention to the reading itself, but hey, whatever. But 
whatever, you know? Things happen. But if you're gonna tell me something, I just, I already know, that's super obvious. That's gonna be an Xbox One only, it's gonna be downloadable only on day one, it's gonna be, like, get to buy all the fucking characters, which nobody ever wants to do, because, come on, seriously, that's, that's like, barely even saying I haven't even got the game. I'd rather, better have, I'd rather fucking have it on disc format, which I know it's stupid, but a lot of people think it's stupid, but disc format's better. Why? Because, I, well, A, the, the service is not gonna go down if I ever wanna freaking make it go away. Think about it, the Xbox 360 live service is gonna go away in 2016. Where in 2014. Well, not yet, but 13, when 2013. When you see this, might be 2014. I, I really doubt that, but whatever. Well, a couple of days before 2014. But seriously, they announced when the service is going to be down and not going to be supporting it anymore. It's the same with the Nintendo Satellite, what they did back then. You're probably saying, but sure, what the fuck is the Nintendo Satellite? Oh, God. <laughs> yeah, I know a lot of questions about things they probably told me, even though you probably not even asked me, probably because I'm a little bit mad or pissed off or things that you just don't really care for right now, but anyways. Nintendo Satellite is a Super Nintendo's online service that was only for available for Japan, but it didn't successfully do all that well because America didn't get the best uh, internet services yet because, well, we were still on dial up. So that's why. And also, Sega, Sega did a, a similar thing called Sega Channel, and, well, as you could probably guess, it wasn't too successful here either. Even though it was here, but it wasn't too successful whatsoever. Still. Anyways, uh, that's just that's the thing that kind of pisses me off. And I mean, Nintendo's doing it right. Their online services, they're doing it right. They haven't told us anything, as in, oh hey, look at that, and a, a Pacific Golden thing. They haven't told us anything, as in, if they're ever going to discontinue any services, because they know for a fact that not all the gamers in the world are hardcore gamers. And if you're going to say, I'm a Call of Duty gamer, that's not fucking hardcore. You know how I know? Well, two things. You don't play any other game in Call of Duty or first person shooter games, right? Okay, why can't I do this? Come on. Oh, shit, really. Uh, if I was saying yes, no, maybe so, I don't know. Well, you're not a really hardcore gamer because the developer of Call of Duty himself says you're not a hardcore gamer or really a gamer at all. So don't even start with me. Yeah, and I'm very, very talkative for this episode because I'm very, very pissed off. And I don't even know how long I've been playing the game because it's only how much I've done this. And I died for just doing things. God damn it. You know, I don't even know how long this episode's going to be. But I'm going to put down my clock right now and start my timer saying uh, I'll be going for maybe 10 minutes. Let's say 10 minutes because I've been on a rant that feels about 10 minutes wrong and or the introduction. So I'm going to just say 10 minutes. Anyways, <sighs> sorry, I had to get the, my freaking that off my chest, and I had to tell that to Proto Mario 2 on Xbox Live, which I'm actually talking to, well, not talking to him right now on Xbox Live, but I was actually talking to him earlier today, which is November 25th, 20, sorry, uh, November 25th, November 25th, 2013, if you wanted to know that, and oh, it's on Monday, in case that's important too. I so, was talking to him about games in general, blah, blah, I just told him some things, and like, not, not too important things, just, just some casual talking and stuff. I mean, just things that, come on, any gamer should know, especially if you fucking work at GameStop. Because there's a specific person at GameStop, well, not a specific person, a customer. Well, it is a customer, what, or not a customer, associate, which is a worker. At GameStop that just honestly did not know what the fuck he was talking about. I told him some obvious things I want to see if he actually knew. Well, we'll see. Xbox One, hey, does it have AV out composite cables? He said, yeah, I don't know for a fact it fucking doesn't. I know it doesn't. HDMI only for PS3 and, oh, not PS3, PS4 and Xbox One. Yeah, I know it kind of pisses me off. <sighs> I know there's a HDMI to composite. I seen those. I actually tweeted a link to myself and favoriting the link as well. So I know in the future for getting a PS4 or Xbox One. Anyways game. <laughs> oh, you can see how much rant and anger I just had in that. I'm sorry I wasn't talking about the game whatsoever, but that level wasn't really my favorite level in the game. Well, one of my favorite levels. Especially, well, one of Rouge's levels which just really pisses me off, and it's not security, which we're going to get to in a, maybe here or not. So. I still don't wonder why haven't they fixed the audio 
uh, issues in this game, as in the audio is actually loud in this game, and the you know voice actors aren't as loud. But whatever, that's why there's subtitles, even though some people take off subtitles because I don't know why. Why? Why do we take off subtitles? We want subtitles in the game. Some people don't, some people do. But for LP wise or actually just developing wise or actually people can't hear the game wise, they want to read it. Or some people just like reading, preferred and hearing or hearing. Uh, specifically me because well, a lot of words I learned from actually playing video games. Weirdly enough, it's true. I learned some words I can't think of right now. I actually learned from just playing video games alone. I mean, the word adventure alone. I didn't know what that meant when I was in second or first grade. I didn't know what adventure meant. But in some games like Super Smash Brothers, Melee, and well, of course, Sonic Adventure, I knew what adventure means. Right? It's just some words I learned from growing up, some words I just knew, and then there's some words I'm still learning to just say what it really meant. Or if I have some friends, hey, what is this word is? Or he or she doesn't know, I will look it up on Google, which yes, Google is a really, you know, good you know, thing nowadays, but I mean, back then, when I was a kid, Google wasn't really around or really that informative about anything, because, well, nobody really knew how to use Google, and we were running on dial-up for people, for peak sakes. We, we all don't have great internet at that time. Seriously, I remember I was on the internet as a kid, like, doing, like, Halloween stuff on Kids WB for, like, Yu-Gi-Oh, and I, and I don't even, and we couldn't even hear it because the dial-up was so bad. We just had to guess. Who had the best uh, screen? Because it was like an October thing or something. And I seriously just said, like, let's just pick the fat kid. <laughs> so that's what me and my sister did. But I like every time I talk about a me and my sister kind of like story, I always retell this story to my sister, and she always tells me she does not remember this story. Which it makes me feel like I'm old. But I know my sister's older. But I mean. Those kind of things are just kind of important to me because of my childhood. But when I tell my sister something about like anything as we did as kids, she won't really tell me anything that what we really did, and that kind of makes me kind of sad because well, a she doesn't remember what really what we did, and I was probably younger if I told her a specific thing, or I just want to see if she remembers whatsoever or not. And two, my sister's not that well. What's the word I'm trying to go for? Not kid friendly. Um, like I don't know if she doesn't want to remember her past as a kid. So I mean, I guess the only downfall I can remember that she didn't like as a kid, or for herself, she was, well, fat. And that's really it. But other than that, I mean, I can't think of a single thing that she hated as a kid. I mean. There's some things here, uh, like nowadays, I know that she hates because she's told me several times or something else. Fuck, where are the chaos symbols here? Okay, I'm getting closer when I got to here. Get down. Okay, how did I just get to... Okay, hold on, I'm trying to figure this out, actually. Uh, okay, I'm on yellow. How did I get to yellow right here? Okay, it's not in this. Oh, is it in this? Hold on. No, it's not in this either, so come on, where the fuck is it then? Ah, okay, okay, I'm super close. Yeah, it's in one of- Ah, there, I have to activate the fucking- What is it? What, what floor is this? Okay, I know- ah, damn it, now I forgot how to unlock it. I know it's in those switches, but I don't know if- Oh, I don't even have enough time, that's gonna piss me off. Now, one thing about this level is that, as a kid, I took months trying to do this because it really pissed me off because I didn't know how to get the Chaos Emeralds inside the the box, you know, like, probably saying, oh, really? A lot of people actually, when I told that story to a couple other people, they actually told me the same thing. They, they honestly did not know how to open the box. I mean, it's fine, but as kids now, you know, I know better, but, you know, like at like you know like knowing now I know but I mean as when I was a kid I had no fucking clue okay just fly back don't get hit yes okay come on back go back go back go back ah see it's open 
See, I never knew how to do this as a kid. For some reason, I just never knew. Oh, God, I only have one minute. Shit. I don't even know where it is. And I don't even know if it's going to be another container or not. Oh, wait, I'm next to one. Fuck, uh, let's go. Fuck, how did I get close to here? Fine, hurry, tell me a clue. Red X. Oh, shit, it's in the red? No, it's not. Damn it, man. Red X. What the fuck does that mean? Red X, red X, red X. I'm trying to think what that really means, but I don't know. Wait, how did they get to yellow right now? right there. Fuck, fuck, where is it? Oh, don't you tell me it's above me! Shit, I don't got the time. I don't got the time. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. We got a couple seconds left. No! It was right there! It was right there! Oh my god! Oh my god! I'm totally telling everyone I know that it was right there. I knew where it was at the last moment, but it's fucking. Ah. Oh, jeez. Fucking. God damn it. Oh, wait, here? Where? Uh, no. 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 Okay, how did I get close? Is it one below? Oh, it's right there. Only two more, yeah, yeah, yeah. But damn it, I was so close, and I've been an epic climax if I did it. Oh my god, I so totally want to show that. Part 10, everyone, remember that. Part 10, the episode where Shadow almost got the chaos and was at the last moment. The last moment. Oh my god, that, everybody, was truly epic. Very, very epic. I, I can't even explain how epic that shit was. Oh my god, guys. Oh my god. Episode 10. I believe it's 10. If it's not, I... I'm sorry. <laughs> but god damn it. That was truly uh, good. That was good. That was gold. Oh, don't tell me it's in the same area. It's in the same area. Well, not the same place, but the exact same area. Wow. Alright, let's fly out of here. And this time for fact, I actually have extra time. Oh wait, it's still up here. It's up here? Oh, I didn't realize, I was about to go back down. Or maybe it's still down. Oh no, it's up here, it's up here. Where though? Where? I'm not on red. So maybe it's on this side? No, because I just got cold, so... Okay, maybe it's back on that other side. That'd be really weird if it was still over here. Yeah, see, it just it just totally went, like, not it. Come on. Yeah, I'm not seeing it. It's around here. Oh, you know, it's probably all the way above there. Yeah, I found it. Wow. I, got it. I just can't believe I almost got it, guys. Damn it. So fucking close. I could have done it too if it wasn't for the meddling kids. A rank! That? Nice! That's good, Rude! <laughs> oh my god, but that would have been an epic win if I actually got that Chaos Emerald at the last second, and that would have been awesome. Oh man, but still. I, that was good. Oh wait! Oh, all right. I get I well. Hmm. Just to fail. You know what? I'll right do this and then I'll call an episode because well, it feels right. Or you know what? Nah, I'll just call an episode now. Yep, cliffhanger. Anyways, thank you all for watching. My name is Exceeding Shadow. Like the video, subscribe, leave a comment below, and I'll see you guys for the next episode. Of Let's play Sonic Adventure 2 HD, where we. I believe get to see Shadow the Hedgehog on escaping White Forest. Yeah, I'm that no knowledgeable about this game. Anyways, thank you all for watching. I'll see you guys for the next one. Alright? Deuces.
damn it, one second, Chaos Emerald. 